Hello everybody, my name is Ochara and this is Eco Global Survival, my ninth community server. It's about half an hour away from tipping over into day four, which means there will be uh, new research available at the library. But before we talk about the library and the research, because um, we will, I just want to talk about my plans for the day. I think I want to get... Hmm, do I want to do it here? I, I, just, I want to get uh, an area. I guess I could just do it where I have my iron. There's not much space there. I need to find some space. Maybe I'll go over here. Like, look at all the flat space here. Anyway, what I want is an area where I can crush um, some rocks and turn them into sand. I'm going to start, uh, like, delivering sand to people, if that makes sense. Like, there's several people with buy orders for sand, right? Including government stores, but... You know, I want to sell to people first. Um, so I think I'm going to be like a sand delivery person um, for much of this run is my plan. Basically, I want to see if I can survive without having a store. Right? I want to I want to strictly do deliveries. Just out of curiosity. So I guess I could, I could make the sand where I have my iron, which is way over here. But, you know, I would have to expand this out and... But I feel like I might be encroaching on other people's land there, possibly. Or, like I said, I could go somewhere where it's nice and flat, like down here. The only thing is this road is raised up. I would probably have to put some ramps down. I could probably do that. Um, one other thing I want to talk about briefly is... The government stores so the way the government stores work is we buy things generally that you don't want you know um so as you can see we got four large lumber stockpiles under here um three of them are full um let's just see what's is this dirt or clay okay so let's uh let's grab some more dirt i'm gonna try to just basically zap all the dirt so what happens is when they all get full um, me or one of the other admins come in with the admin tool and we were, well, what we used to do on previous servers is come in with the admin tool, you smite the stockpile, right? And what used to happen is everything in the stockpile would go away as well. <laughs> now only the stockpile does. So now you got to go through one by one and blast every single thing and it's a giant pain in the butt. Um, Edible has come up with a workaround. We have not implemented it yet because it'll involve uh, some server downtime, but we're probably going to do that tonight. But we'll still have to go through and, you know, clear out all these stockpiles, which is a giant pain in the butt. But if you notice full gov stores, that's why, because this is a giant pain. Anyway, I'm not going to show this whole process, but just picture this, what I'm doing right now, except it's full right <laughs> it's not fun it used to take 20 seconds to do this now it takes 20 minutes right anyway enough complaining about it time to just get it done um i'll be back uh, when it's time to uh have those new skill scrolls on the market i think we'll talk about that all right it appears to be time it looks like yep all right the next group of scrolls are available folks we got class working, fertilizers, cooking, baking, milling, paper milling, and pottery. I'm just going to grab one of each of these myself. Wait, do I have money for this? Yeah, I have money for this. <laughs> I wasn't sure. But I do. All right. Now, am I going to actually take any of these skills? Probably not. Wait, why is it? Okay, i got to right click. Ah! Why was I double clicking? Has it always been right click? I'm not even sure. I need some fat. Boom, sausage. Problem solved. But yeah, I do have a star available right now. Oh, here comes here comes the crowd. Everybody's coming to get their scrolls. But I mean, I have 58 claim papers now, right? I could do <laughs> I could do uh, a lot of claiming if I needed to. Um but thank you very much, Katie. Kitty's in been in charge of the library this run. Last run, kind of all the different admins kind of were trying to uh, trying to do it, but it was kind of we got in each other's way, and we all had our own 
way we thought we were going to do it. Or it led to some mistakes. Um, so this time we were like, let's just let one person do it. And Kitty volunteered. So uh, Kitty's been doing it. So thank you for that, Kitty. A lot of limestone here. I feel like maybe I should live around here somewhere. Maybe I'll just make little tiny claims all over the entire map. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. The limestone is so valuable. There is a ton of limestone back here. Wait, is there an actual road district here? No, right? Somebody, I mean, this is all Kitty's area. Don't want to step on Kitty's toes. All right, time to go back home. Ooh, ban on nails lifted. I got to lift the ban on nails. Forgot about that. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Let's lift the ban on nails. <laughs> Basically, we ban nails because um, the tier two building materials are glass, brick, and lumber. Um, and we wanted the three building materials to come available at the same time. Um, but with both carpentry and smelting, technically lumber could be made. So I had to ban nails to make it so that lumber couldn't actually be made. Now, maybe there was a different way I could have done it. Maybe I could have just banned lumber instead of nails, I guess. But either way, it uh, it worked did what it was supposed to do. All right, so nails should be able to be made now. All right, time to head back home and um, get a little rock crushing and sand making setup at my original house. No pants gang. The no pants gang is everywhere. I can't avoid them. I'm not sure I'm going to join them yet, but they're everywhere. <laughs> uh, all right, anyway. Back home. Okay, back uh, home now. That's quote unquote home. It's not much of a home, but uh, it is capable of crushing stone now. So if you go up the ladder here, we have a windmill, a rocker box, and an rastra with basic upgrade threes, not fours yet. Um, I generally don't bother going with basic upgrade fours or any upgrade fours until you can make the specialty upgrade, which would be the, uh, where is it made at? I think it's made here. Mining base upgrades. There need to be mining seven for that. I'm almost mining five. I'll probably get that today, I would say. Um, getting mining six, or at least mining six. Mining six is good because you get that, some good perks as well. Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing the last little bit. Um, so yeah, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on, you know, digging out some tunnels. Um, maybe I'll just be a tunnel guy this run. Maybe I'll take masonry and use some mortared stone to make tunnels. I don't know. I'm still not having side, but yeah. So if I dig out any tunnels, I mean, I got options. There's a tunnel right here that needs to be dug out. There's a tunnel right over here that needs to be widened and heightened. There's a tunnel right here. <laughs> you get the idea. So all this granite, I'm going to take it, crush it, turn it into sandstone, or turn it into sand, and then sell the sand is my plan to make money this run. That's my big uh, master plan, such as it is. I really like Zach's bridge here. Uh, Zach being Z Simone. And then, oh, looks like Demon Rainwolf got a nice little starter house going. Good work in progress, obviously. What? Progress has been made. So now that nails are out, lumber's out, looks like uh, large lumber stockpiles are going to become available to the public, which is good. That'll help everybody store stuff. Hey, get out of the way, you. And this is uh, Z Simone's little house. Starter house, obviously. But now, is there anybody taking pottery or glass working yet? I wonder. One glass worker, Griffin, Griffin 9D. No potters yet. I assume that is going to change um, in the very near future. <laughs> that there will be several potters by the end of the day. We'll check back, take another look at that soon. Um, do we have any uh, bakes, 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 bakers or cooks? We do not. All right. So I'm going to look at there's one other place I was looking at as a potential spot. Um, to set up a little mining operation. I'm going to go ahead there now. I was thinking of making a claim right around here. So here, um, 
So this is where I am. And over here, <laughs> my two claims. So this is right by this big crossroads. Um, this is kind of the downtown area, I guess you would call it. So I'm kind of, this is kind of pretty central to everything. But I was thinking of making a claim here. Let's just take a look. How far does the road go? So I'd have to go over a little farther. I have to start claiming right about here. But I could claim a nice little like four by four. It's pretty flat. I could get some stockpiles down. I could get some um, crushing, concentrating equipment going. But the main reason is look at all this limestone, right? I'd like to be able to provide limestone for the server or crushed limestone specifically. Maybe some on crushed as well. Um, just looking at the district. It starts there. So we'll claim here. Boom. Now somebody said that they were crashing whenever they tried to claim via this earlier. Let's see if I can do this without crashing. <laughs> what did they say? Four by four I was going to claim. Maybe go a little more out towards the limestone here. I mean, like I said, I have all kinds of claim papers. Submit. All right. Well, I didn't. So, yeah, I'm not sure why. I think it was Bachnoff was crashing whenever they were trying to claim with that method. It's fine for me. That's weird. Eco is a weird game. So sometimes things happen. But this is more for the future. Today, I'm just going to try to deliver some sand to the people that have uh, five orders for sand. So yeah, so I'm going to go up to my my little iron mine. Actually, and I could make an iron mine here as well, right? And I might even I say I might even be able to make a smelting operation, but I'm not planning to take smelting. And I'm still pretty far from the water, actually. I was thinking I was a little closer to the water, but yeah, I'm really not. Yeah, all right. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, I've made a decision. I am going to take masonry. I am going to be a mason. Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's let's pull the band-aid off here. Let's be a mason. All right. Ooh, how actually? How long is it for my next star? Oh my goodness! Seven days, three hours. I guess that's what happens when you don't have a house. Maybe I'll even build a house. All, all these things I said I wasn't gonna do this run, <laughs> and now I'm like, I was only gonna do one star. I wasn't gonna build a house. I wasn't gonna build a store. Now I'm like. No, well, maybe I should just do all these things. We'll see. All right, so I need a masonry table. All right, so I need some stone for that. Let's give this up. Let's put the head of the mortar stone. That way, it can actually get made when I when I do some stone. How much space do I need for this? Twenty five meters, three volume. Okay, so it needs an extremely small room. I do not need a big room for this. So that should be fine. Let's get some stone so we can make that. And then we'll take some mortared stone and make just a tiny little like three by three by three room just to get started. Because then once once we have the masonry table, then we'll be talking, right? Then we can start making some, some mortared stone. And we'll go from there. I'm also going to try to get some roads down. I, I, I was I really slacked off last run on the uh, on the road building. I did not do nearly enough of it. I'd like to like remedy that this run. I don't want to be a a road slacker, right? There's one way to fix that, and that's uh do some roads. I'm pretty sure there are roads for sale. Or some at least. Stone road. No, oh well, okay, there's only one person who has them, but there is 230 there. Oh, Dr. Olkola, that's not too far from me. That's right here, but the problem is this road. This tunnel isn't done yet, so I would have to go all the way around. I still I still probably will, but that also means maybe I should work on this tunnel, <laughs> right? So anyway, just wanted to, uh, you know, kind of give an update. What's going on in Luch's crazy brain? I am going to, obviously, I'm a Mason. Um, so yeah, one other thing I want to mention is... Uh, it doesn't exist yet, but I'm going to add a law that um, I think I put it in last run as well after somebody asked for it. Um, but basically, uh, if you put mortared stone in a road district, aka if you're like trying to make a tunnel or a bridge look good, 
you get paid for placing the mortar stone, just the cost. Like it's you don't get you don't make money like you do placing roads. But or maybe I'll put in a small profit. Yeah, we'll see. Either either you either you will get your cost back or there'll be a small profit. I'm not sure which. I'll see how I feel when I go to make the lobby. I'll do that a little later. But just to encourage people to make nice looking bridges and tunnels. I think that will be uh, good for the server in the long run, right? I did put it in last run, that same law, but it was like late in the run. Whereas now I'm going to get in a little earlier. So I will uh, probably be back whenever I get the... Uh, whenever I get this uh, little workshop, I guess you call it, in place. My tiny little workshop is complete. And actually it was bigger than I was going to do originally. I mean, it's still pretty small. Not a lot of extra space in here I can't really fit anything else but we got two masonry tables we got two storage chests and um, yeah that's really all we need I guess for now um, yeah I'm it's funny how like you know I had all these plans <laughs> no store no workshop no house and the no house thing I think I might stick to if I'm gonna I'm gonna rent a room from somebody you know just kind of avoid having a house but I think I'm gonna make a store maybe not here thinking it'll be over in the desert so let's uh, let's take a trip to the desert here and uh, get the shovel out so we don't have to see our arms swinging and yeah again I said this yesterday but shout out to whoever made this tunnel this is a pretty beefy tunnel like this is not small it is definitely not a small tunnel. And we got Austin French's place, aka Frenchy. Nice mortared stone. What are they selling? Not much. They want lots of things. They're not selling anything. We got Sandman up there. We got Don Sofe over there. Not sure why there's a stockpile in the middle of the road. <laughs> But there is. I am. Ooh, I'm almost level three masonry, just from making some mortar and some mortared stone. So you got Sandman's complex over there. That looks good. Mortar stone mixed with hewn logs. Looks good. Then we got Don over here. The multiple store setup. And then we just hop it back. We can go to Don's uh, house slash workshop. Or is the workshop there? This strictly house, I wonder. One way to find out. Looks like strictly house. Yeah, I bet this is a pretty solid housing bonus. Definitely better than my zero. <laughs> but that's all right. I was planning to be a slacker this run, so it all makes sense. It was all part of the plan. Don is apparently another member of the, uh, the No Pants Gang. And free is the way to be, apparently, on this server. Um, so yeah, so down by the limestone, you can see um, this is uh, Sam's little spot here. Let's take a peek. Looks mostly oh, there's a start hut in there. It looks like I'm going to say it looks mostly like stockpiles. There is a little starter house. Oh, there's level three masonry. So that means I can take Burke. We do have two in there, so let's do parallel processing. It's basically those two perks. One of them, if you have a single workstation, it works faster, like much faster. If you have multiple, the other one is if you have multiple workstations, they work a bit faster. Yes, yeah, solid little starter up by Sam. So let's just actually go around this way instead of taking the road, will lead to my property. So I actually claimed even bigger. It's a six by six now. Um, and as, as you can see, I got some more stone set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an going to do an entire six by six, whatever you want to call this. Um, so we'll put all my I'll put all my stockpiles up there. Is the plan, right? And then I'll have a store, a little workshop, and maybe even more storage down below. I don't know. We'll see. I got all kinds of space for stuff.
But the iron's coming out pretty solid now. I probably could tear down my temporary iron setup over there. Over here. Maybe I'll wait till tomorrow to do that. But yeah, that's what I'm up to. I'm going to continue to pick away at this. And yeah. Fairly productive day so far. I made a decent amount of progress on my... Uh, on whatever you want to call this. <laughs> my mortared stone ceiling thing may not look like much but when you consider it's 30 wide it's a lot of mortar stone like this cart was full i don't know it's just a wood cart but it's full of mortar stone but i still have uh <laughs> still have quite a ways to go i mean i'm maybe a quarter done possibly so that's gonna be a lot of mortar stone i need to make and that's fine it gives me something to do it gives me a project let's take a look here at do we have any cooks we have a cook Who's for as a cook? We still don't have a baker. Um, we still don't have a miller. So until we have a miller, there's really no point in having a baker, to be fair. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's planning to take milling anytime soon. We shall see. We now have two glass workers, including one at level four, Griffin, which is key. I'm pretty sure that's the level you need to be to make advanced upgrade twos. Um, yeah, glass working level four labor, it says there. And we have, what, three potters? including one level four, but I don't think you need to be level four to make the advanced upgrade one. No, we only need to be level two for that. So advanced upgrade one and twos should be coming out relatively soon. Oh, I got a perk I can take. Increases your inventory size, increases your stomach capacity. Let's go inventory size. Sure. Sure. All right, so let's go take a peek at uh, what other people have been up to in this part of the world. See if there's anybody made anything cool. Not here. <laughs> here we go. Work in progress, obviously. Whose place is this? Oh, the doors. Got some fancy doors here. That's cool, though. This is Bro Keeper's place. Nice. Road, there's been some progress on the road too, which is good to see. Always good to see road progress. Hey, um, ooh, look at this tunnel. Yeah, let's go down this way. I don't think I've really been down this way yet. Maybe. I don't know. Not on video. I haven't taped myself going down this way for sure. I think I've been down this way. <laughs> We got a little store from Elsirk. Oh, look at that. Capturing the uh, power of the river quite nicely. Iron Miner, Elsirk. Long time player. Across the road from Elsirk, we have a little bit. Starter store, mine shaft. A lot of miners. Hey, like I've said it before, I'll say it again. This map is very well suited to miners. It's house in progress. I like the windows. I like the mix of the hewn logs and the mortar stone. Speaking of a mix of hewn logs and mortar stone, I believe that's Griffin's place over there, I want to say. Yeah, the deserts in this map are massive, and there's a river flowing through each of them. It's, it's a miner's paradise, really. Here's Griffin. Not a member of the No Pants Gang. Pants Gang, rise up. Yeah, that's right. I still have pants on. Griffin have a nice little housing bonus. Across the road from Griffin, we have Philip Landry. Started on a starter hut. And then we have the road going that way towards uh, Jasper and Dr. Dr. Old Cola. Let's see what they got cooking up this run. I believe you got Jasper on this side of the road, Doctor on the other side. Multiple ice boxes, that's nice. You store your food in the ice box, it does last longer than that if they have spoilage. It's a solid little starter house, I gotta say. How do I get out? Right here. <laughs> Dr. Old Cole's Roadwork Store. Ooh, I like those windows, I like the mortar stone windows. It's pretty nice. 
And here's the actual store if you need to buy roads. At least uh, he had roads earlier. Yeah, he still has roads. I should probably come buy some roads here at some point. All right, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Thanks for checking it out. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. If you want to check out the server, you need to join my Discord. Link's in the description down below to that. As is linked to my Twitter and my Patreon. Consider supporting me there, please, and thank you. Most importantly, have a great day. Be good to each other. I'll see you in the next one.